All right. Welcome to Leanne's Voice podcast, where I talk about everything to help you speak with more confidence. All right. So I am Leanne Dern. I'm your host with the most. I'm your speaking tips mama. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If I haven't met you before, you, my dear, are very welcome. So today I wanted to talk about some tips. Yeah. Some tips I've been getting in for questions like, how do I do this? How do I say this? How do I say sharper? Let me give you some tips, my dear, on articulation and pronunciation, which I've learned loads of it from my voiceover stuff, which I want to bring into you to help me speak with more confidence like never, never, never before. All right, you ready? You got your tea? You got your drink? You got your snacks? Let's get this party started right, my dear. Okay, first thing I want to say to you is, this is something I have to teach, preach to myself all the time. Practice speaking slowly. Okay, so this is not even easy for me because I've got lots of things that I want to share, but just got to slow it down because sometimes your listeners are not running at the same speed as your mouth or your mind is, okay? And even for myself, I've got loads to share and I'm like, oh, 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 i got to kind of calm it down a little bit sometimes. But I know that like, when I'm on the roll, I just want to brrrr, but you want your listeners to hear you the first time. You want them to understand you the first time as well, rather than you having to explain it in another way you want to be able to say it once be understood once yeah to get your point across you don't want to waste nobody's time you don't want to waste your own time either so that's the first tip slow it down when you're talking not patronizing like your head teacher but just slow it down because how you talk to your friends and your crew who know you how you sound and all those things is a little different how you need to speak at work or on interviews and in a meeting in a training session or on a date so just slow it down a little bit, okay? I've just done it just then, but you're going to hear through this episode, I might speed up, okay? Go slow up. That will help you to hit articulation, pronunciation, how to say and sound out the words better. When you're going in speed, there's definitely a chance you're going to muck up some of the words. So if you say things slower, you'll be able to hit the pronunciation correctly, majority of the time but of course who's you're not like an English it's trying to be like onomatopoeia articulation okay so just slow it down a little bit that way you're going to increase your pronunciation articulation accuracy rate if you want to call it that yeah I hope that one's helped you let me go and say this one mm. another tip if English is a second third fourth whatever language because I know some of you you've got it like that Try and listen to well-spoken native speakers or voices and accents that you like, that you relate to, because not everybody has the Queen's English or the King's English now. Not everybody has that that level, that accent, uh, received pronunciation, it's called. Some people may sound like TV stars, uh, Idris Elba, people on EastEnders sound like me. Some people may sound like TV presenters. There's all a whole wealth of British English accents. I ain't even talking about the Americans because, boy, oh, boy, you go New, you go New York. Then you go to the South. They're like, oh, I don't come and do South accent. But it's so different. So I'm talking about like British English accents. Go on YouTube again. YouTube is your best friend. Hear the sounds that you like. Imitate good speakers. And I think you can find a lot of good speakers on, you know, Sky News, BBC News. Those who read podcasts, podcast, those who do podcasts, those who uh, read audiobooks, often they're famous stars. You get like Stephen Fry. He's got one. You get different uh, Dame Judy Dench, Joanna Lumley, all my chicks. Yes, all those ladies who speak with such a level of eloquence. If you want to listen to a woman who can speak smooth, you want to have your voice girl crush, Joanna Lumley. My goodness me, the woman sounds like... Whew, was it silk when she talks galaxy chocolate says my favorite chocolate by the way if any of you really want to take note yeah when it's my birthday hook me up hook a sister up smooth um, galaxy chocolate let me get back into the rhythm but her voice to me joanna lamy she sounds like silk and the tag on galaxy why i said that is why have cotton when you can have silk because her voice is just smooth her articulation is mm, mm, mm. she don't play her Dame Judy Dench, these are my two top British accents I like, and Kate Winslet, and there's another lady, Charlene White, the newsreader on ITV, hers is very nice, and ooh, I think her name's Nee, ne I've forgotten her name, forgotten her name, very beautiful newsreader, she used to read six o'clock, 
No, I'm not. I can't remember. When I remember, I'll come back to you, the news read. I can see her face just now, you know, but her, she's very smooth. So I want to encourage you, listen to native speakers whose voice and accent you like. I hope you're going to be listening to mine, yeah? So those are the ones that I love listening to. I could listen to Joanna Lumley all day. She's... I don't even know what happened just then. Um, the screen just went blank. So I hope you heard everything that I just said there before and it all was rocking and rolling very well. It just kind of went blurry. But as I was saying, do listen to great speakers because um, you can often hear like, where do you need to improve? Um, do you need to go slower? Do you need more inflection? Do you need to have more oomph? Are you talking monotone? All those different things. So find someone one, two or three people, put me in that list, yeah, put me in your speaking tips, mum, put me in that list, and so you can start imitating that, okay, and I'll get your phone, record into your phone, and then send it to someone who you trust, who you like, who speaks English, or uh, or projects their voice better than you, oh, because I'm just listening to this voice note, talking about this at work, I've got a meeting, or I've got a date, I've got an interview, how do I sound, do I sound interesting, do I sound energetic, am I clear, get some feedback, because how you sound to yourself is not how you sound to other people. Yeah, sounds like a mad one, but it's true, okay? Learn the phonetic alphabet. So sometimes if you've learned English as a second or third language, you might not have learned it in that way. You might have just learned like phrases, all of that. But, you know, the a, b, k, d, all of that stuff, that will help you to actually sound out the words properly from your back, your throat, your nose, your mouth, your tongue, all the breaths. You can do all these w, v, all of these sounds and stuff correctly. Yeah, that's the thing I'm saying. So learn, learn the International Phonic Alphabet, whichever one you're going to learn, learn one of them so you can actually learn the sounding out of the phonetics, okay? Phonetics, phonics, whatever you want to call it, yeah, whatever. Um, I wanted to, this one. I've got one more thing as well. I want to I'm just try and remember that one. One more thing I wanted to, well, I'm not just one more thing that this is Leanne, I'll do more than one more thing. Help, help, let me say this. The vowels, the vowels, when you are pronouncing words, say the vowels because they are the active movement of the sound of the word. So this is the one thing I I was um, coaching a lady, she's actually French and we'd oh, she was going up in her ranks in her company, but she had to interview for each stage. It wasn't a given. So... She should always express herself, explain what she's done in the previous role, why she should go on to this new role. Right, I don't know why. Her and another French um, client used to teach, coach, whatever. Whenever she would say this word, idea, she'd always say idea. And this is an example of when you're not really saying the vowels correctly. So almost to me, it sounds like she's saying the word idea, but not saying it in the correct way. She'd always say idea. But I would also, I'd just stop and I'd listen to her and I'd just look at her smiling like that. And um, she'd all say, oh, no, 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 idea, no idea, idea. So just one little twist of the vowels can change the whole word. So make sure you know what vowel sounds are, how you say them, all of that, okay? Um, and repeat, repeat difficult sounds, spellings, words, speed of them, how you're supposed to say them. Repeat them over until you feel that you've got them and imitate. Go on to... um. Gosh, I might need to do another video. Go on to um, tedtalk.com. Yes, you can get TED Talks on the website, but on YouTube. But when you actually go on their website, it's a, it's a bit more facilities and features, yeah? So on there, you'll get the video as it goes. I'll probably have to do a screenshot of this so you can understand it a bit more. You get the video, and then what you get is, underneath you can click transcript. And what's so good about that is you can, and it follows along. So when you're, when the person's speaking, you can follow on for the word. So you're like, if you're like, what did she say? What word was that? You can follow along on the transcript and that tells you how this word is said, how you say it, all of that stuff. So that will help you and read a lot more. Read good quality books, read good blogs, read, you know what I'm saying? The more reading you do, the better grass repertoire of words you can have to choose from. You know, so you have better, if you, if you, okay, if you don't want to read no books, pick up a thesaurus, go into the dictionary of phone, start reading that, read and build 10 new words a day. Imagine that by the end of the week, you read 10 words to work, read them again in the, in the evening, end of the week, Monday, Friday, you've banged out 50 words. You're winning. Start using those words. Don't just try and memorize them. Leon told me, memorize word, memorize word. No, 
learn the words and use them. I'm a sister of uh, practical action. If you're going to learn some, do it from a favorite book in the Bible. Don't just listen to the word. Do the word. James, James, um, James 1, 22, 26. Do it. Like Mike said, do it. You can't just go gym, watch everybody else or watch the exercise things, but ways to get nice and a cocoa kind of shape. It don't work like that. Do it. Yeah. So when you hear me talking on this podcast, or if you listen to, please do what I'm saying. Don't just come and ask me questions. Like, uh uh-uh, I don't know this. Listen to what I'm saying to you. Do it. I'm telling you it works. It works for me. It works for the clients that I work with. It works. What you've got to do is do it. Repeat difficult sounds. Okay, repeat them. One gem bonus I want to kind of come in here with now. Because you know, you know me, I talk about talking. I talk about talking all day. Like one gem I want to, to speak about. Um, those of you just listening, you probably have to watch the video or DM me and ask me about this pronunciation. There's an app called Pronounce It Right. Those of you looking on the camera, it's this one here. I'm pointing to it. Pronounce it right. It's not even focusing, but Pronounce it right. You should be able to find it on the Android market. Uh, if you're on um, the iTunes library, it might have something similar. And why I like this one is this, right? Those of you just listening online, you're going to have to uh, watch this video, this part, okay? So when you go into the pronounce it right, I love this. It's, I always tell all my speaking coaching clients, get this app. It's a bit more detailed than the Google Translate, etc. because it does this. Look at this bad boy, okay? So it's got all this, I hope you can see it. It says up the top here, text to speak, and you put pronounce it, okay? So say the word, I don't know, uh, edify. I like that one. Putting the word edify, just kind of thought of that one. Edify, Okay. So you put the word edify into the um, into the chat, into there, as you see. Put it in there in the chat, okay? Then you just go, oh, come on. I sure it's about to. Yeah, it's going to do it. Well, it says foul to understand the word. Come on, Bridget, you know this one. Oh, well done. Oh, you have to make sure that you're on... Um, you're on there you go you have to make sure here's one i used earlier you have to make sure that you're on um you're on wi-fi it doesn't work without it so edify let's go for this again nobody ain't stopping me liam speaking to his mama here to help you sound more confident and nobody's going to stop me from helping you so here pronounce it right edify edify and you can change the accent as well so I don't know what accent it's in up there, but at the top, here we go. Those of you on the camera, you can have United Kingdom. You can have whatever accent you want. You check, I'll be obviously having English accent. You go, pronounce it right. Edify. Edify. It's cute, isn't it? Yeah, so please, 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 please do get yourself this, um, this app. It's so good. It's so helpful. I really, really love it. So I really just want to encourage you, please, please get this up. If you want to improve the way that you speak, you want to improve your pronunciation, this one will help you. I always, there's there's many you can get, but this one is my favorite because it's got a little history. It's got all of these different, you can research words. What word does it link with? All these different things. I'm like, oh, that's a bit of me. I like that. Do you know what I'm saying? So please do, please do get it if, if it's going to work for you. So I just love it. I just love it. And you can change any accent. I don't know. What about Italian? What does that one say? How do you say edify of Italian accent? Let's let's see what it's saying. Edify. Oh, there you go. There. Those of you Italian, I hope that encouraged you. So you can pick any accent you want. Um, I'll go back to United Kingdom because I'm British English, yeah. Um, so I hope that those have helped you. So do let me know how I can help you, what question you've got that you feel that you need help with. And I can try and answer it on a later episode. DM me on whatever platform you're watching or listening to. You can always get hold of me on my website, okay? But don't burn out my email, right? I don't want any silly email telling me, yeah, we are PPI, Leanne. I want to help you. I'll grab your Instagram. But don't email me all of that. Don't email me that. But just email me questions that's going to help you how to speak with confidence. But before I go, if you want my help, you are tired of where you're at. Well, you must be if you're listening to me on this podcast. Listen, mm-hmm. if you want to up your game, 
You ready to up your game? You ready to change from how you're doing? Because you don't want to be the same as you were yesterday, as you are today. You're trying to grow, evolve, move. Do you know what I'm saying? So if you want to up your game, you're ready for this. Tell me that you're ready for this. You want to improve the way you're speaking. Then my dear, my dear, my dear, your speaking tips mama is here. So I want to tell you, I can help you to improve your speaking voice within five days. Tell me yes or yes if you're in this one. If you're here listening to this podcast, you want this. Do you know what I'm saying? You want this because that's why you're here. You want to hear, okay, you might like the sound of my voice. Nice. But you want to actually improve the way you speak. Yes or yes? Okay. So if you're tired of doing the same thing, what's it? It's insanity. You can't keep doing the same thing, expecting a different result. My dear, it's time to up your game. Put in that change. So your change is this one thing that I've got for you. If you want to improve your speaking voice within five days, I have an ebook called how to improve your speaking voice within five days. So obviously, you know, I do a range of stuff, courses, ebooks, audiobooks, but today I want to talk to you about the ebook, which I think is going to help you up your game. So if you're someone who can learn from reading, it's your niche, it's your repertoire, you've got time to read when the kids are asleep, on the train, at night, whatever it is, get the ebook, how to improve your speaking voice within five days. You can get it on my website, leanturner.com, or wherever you're listening to me on this for, please go into the link in my profile, and go in there, go into the book section, you'll find it. Get it, read it, and do it. Because you know I'm a woman that I love to teach you stuff, but if you do it, you're gone clear. This is where the game changes. is. When you actually put in action the stuff that I'm saying, that's when it's going to change. So please, 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 if you want to up your game, you don't want to keep doing the same thing you are doing before, so keep listening to this, listen to that, try and do this, try and do that, yeah? Go and get yourself a copy of the ebook. It's on my website. You can only learn from here, win-win. If you like the stuff that I'm teaching you, it's helping you, I'm giving you bars, go and get yourself a copy of the ebook, How to Improve Your Speaking Voice Within Five Days on my website. I cannot wait to teach you through that ebook. You're going to learn some gems and bars, things that you may not have heard before. And I'm going to hear and walk you through the ebook. So it's like I'm um, walking with you, but you're reading with me. Okay? You love that? So, of course, before you go, wherever you're watching me on YouTube or TikTok or Instagram or Facebook, please like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Let me help more people who want to speak with more confidence than ever before. Thank you so, so much for listening, giving me your time, giving me your ear. I hope you've got even one or two gems out of this. And I hope that you will go and get the ebook to improve your speaking voice within five days. It's been a pleasure to sit with you, talk to you. And I hope I've helped you in some way, form or fashion. I'm going to see you in next week's episode. And I love, love helping people to speak with more confidence than ever before. I'm going to see you next week. Thank you so much for coming.